Yeah. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Clark Mania. Um, this is the kind of final gameplay here for the Morph into Commander uh, for Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas. What we've done is taken the Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas box. We've uh, each built a deck based, based off the Planeswalker, kind of using the Commander 14 rules where we can use the Planeswalker as a commander. Um, I'm playing Gideon Jura. We have Bobby here playing Chandra Torch of Defiance. We have Kylie playing Nissa Steward of Elements, and we have Steve playing the Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas God Pharaoh. So the new one from Our Devastation. We kind of beef things up, uh, made some changes. We just played some pitiful games against the Arch Enemy <laughs> straight out of the box. It was great, guys. Yeah, pitiful <laughs> doesn't get out of here. close to describing it. <laughs> Nicol Bolas is undefeated at the moment. I uh, never felt so powerful in my life. Well, yeah. That's not true, but you know. <laughs> so check out those games. Those will be in the description. We will also have videos yes, or video links to each of our deck decks yeah. as well. Probably need to pull um, this up at some point. Yeah, so kind of a six-part series here with this new release. We're trying to do that for every new product with the Morph into Commander kind of pre-con to EDH deck idea. Just so, to give you guys some ideas on what you can do. Yeah, that. yeah. Really, all pre-con stuff is great. They do an awesome job of making it ready to go. Um, in Arch Enemy, Steve is going to draw one of these uh, Arch Enemy schemes every turn in his first main phase. He starts at 60 life. We kind of figure, or like tweaked it. It's 20 more life than what we started in the base game. Um, yeah, and they're brutal. And uh, what else do we... Was there much else? We take our turns together. Steve always goes first. Mm -hmm. um, you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. I mold, took my free mole. Kylie took a free mole. I mold or Bobby twice. took it. Yeah. You're down to he six. mold twice. He went down. I kept my starting hand. Okay. I shouldn't have. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to a draw. Go to draw. I'm a gambler. That guy's pretty good. Uh, scheme. Got to do that first. Uh, make yourself useful. Whenever you set the scheme in motion, destroy target creature and opponent controls. Such a creature destroyed this way. So you guys are lucky. Nice. Oh, nice. I didn't end good. up with three three threes Oosh. at the beginning of the <laughs> game. Um, then I will go ahead and play a submerged boneyard. And pass it. All right, draw. Okay. Play a forest. Play a plains. Tap that forest from exploration. Nice. Play a flooded grove, and I'll pass. Well, things are already starting to look quite <laughs> better for the game. <laughs> we have a permanent on turn one. Yeah, hey. woo! A permanent that isn't, like, tapped and doesn't do anything. Uh, when the scheme is set in motion, draw three cards. You have no maximum hand size until your next turn. If you control six more lands, you may cast up to three non-land cards from your hand without paying. You I'm kind of glad like you get that two, early. Yeah. yeah. Well, this time million. I might actually get it again, though, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Commander may last that long. That's true. Okay, and then I will go ahead and put a Rakdos Guild Gate into play tapped and pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Yep. I'm going to play my two lands for this turn. Play a Core Haven. Play Melvin. And I'm going to go ahead and get Nissa out there mm. uh, with two plus one plus one counters on it because I cast it for two. And I'm going to plus two her to scry two. Kylie was talking about this earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. Like... Just straight out the bat, oh my gosh. He's fixing his, his draws for the next two turns, essentially. And then probably be able to use Nissa's ability. Yeah. Yep. Kylie might be able to beat me on his own. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right, and then yeah. I'll, uh, I'm good there. Okay. 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 When you set the scheme in motion, each opponent sacrifices a creature. If you can, yeah. <laughs> Okay. You guys are getting lucky. We are getting Sweet. real lucky. It's nice that <laughs> we don't just have to count on creatures for yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and play a command tower. And then I have to discard. So I want to keep that. 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 Come on, deck. <laughs> what are you hoping for, Bobby? A land. A land? Get the two lander? My first one was two land, yeah. second one's two land, and I asked Kylie, I was like, should I keep this? And, and he's like, like no. no. Well, everything he had in hand was like four or more, and then the top two were going to be land. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that's fair. All right, I will go to discard. Okay. Untap. Yep. Upkeep. Draw. Go, Bobby, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to zero. Look at the top card, which happens to be a land, which goes right onto the battlefield. Not too bad. So uh, and then it. I'm going to five for a Gilded Lotus. Wow. I respond. All right, counter flux. Oh, um, there we go. Oh. I'm going to Molten Influence. You can counter it if you want to take four. Otherwise, that's countered. 
Uh, oh. You can still counter it, but are there ways you can? I will take four. All right. Okay. Nice work. Not bad. Yeah, I didn't There's need that no land. question there. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm I'm done. I am also done. Okay. I'm done for sure. First blood. Good job, Bobby. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Draw. I'm just going to double check that we're, we're good. Okay. When you set the scheme in motion, you may draw two cards and play an additional line. Play this additional turn. Dang it. He's going to catch up to me, guys. <laughs> Dude, one of these days. <laughs> one of these days, Alice. <laughs> right. Zip. Boom. Straight to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I will play the swamp, and then I will play this canyon slot. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, and then I'm going to have to discard something, but I don't know what. This is all so good. <laughs> oh, man. Choices. Changes. Ch -ch Changes. Oh, gosh. I don't know what to do, guys. Don't do the good play. Do the bad play. There is no good discard here. Really is oh, it. yeah, he did. Actually, I can just do this. Damn it. What does this do? <laughs> no, it's one. No. Okay, I don't think I'm going to fall in anytime soon, so. Untap. Draw. I'm going to play a land for the turn. Play land. I'm going to browbeat you. So You can take five or I'll draw three. I'll take five. Take it. I'm going to. Go ahead. Six, I'm, I'm going to plus two to Sean or to Nissa. I'm going to play Kytheon's Irre or Irregulars, Renown, 4 3 for 4. Renown says when it deals damage to a player, if it isn't Renown, put a plus one counter on it. It has two white tap target creature. I am going to... Do something bananas. I'm going to draw this counter spell. Do Gents. something with a Staff of Min. Oh, okay. oh, hey. No, no response to that? Nope. All right, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done as well. Yeah, okay. I'm done. Oh, I gotta do this first. Sorry, I almost forgot. Yeah, uh, when you set the scheme in motion, each opponent discards a card. You draw a card for each lion card discarded this way. Mm -hmm. Dang it, I'm gonna discard the deep glow skate, even though I really didn't want to. I was gonna play that on my next turn. I'm gonna discard an austere command. Oh! oh. It's mm. looking good for Steve. I don't know. I, I think that makes me happy with what else he's got in his hand. Uh, we'll see. I was, I'm a little leery of that card. I talked about it in my deck tech. Okay. Second. Or I guess I haven't even gone to my first main phase. This first is your main first phase. phase. You skipped <laughs> combat, Steve. Sorry. I'm going to play <laughs> Dragonlord Slumgar. I'm going to gain control of that. That's not a creature. I know. It's a creature or a planeswalker. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. What is it? You gain control of something? Yep. For as long as it remains out, right? Yep. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Um, look at the Pretty top good. card of your library. If it's land, cards, or creature cards, cost less than... Oh, all zero. Okay. Oh, wait. Scry two. Or you can kill her right now and make two Untap five two fives. Target lands you control. They become five fives on all creature cards. Plus one. And haste until end of turn. There's still lands. Just until end of turn? Yeah, just until end of turn. I feel like I want to try and keep her for a little while though. So I'm gonna zero. Okay. It's definitely not gonna plus her. Okay. What do I do if it's not one of those two? <laughs> Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card or a creature card, which you might cost less. You may put that card on the battlefield. So otherwise, you keep it there because you're oh, just looking. Okay, I see. What, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm just like, wait, what do I do now with it? <laughs> um, go ahead. Untap. Oh wait, end of turn. Deal your damage. Ah, oh, yeah, fifty. Deal with it. Land for turn. All right, Bobby. I'm gonna help you out, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Appreciate I got your back. Three. Spectral searchlight. Oh. Deal with it. That's Read that card for the viewers. So spectral searchlight says choose a player. That player adds one mana of any color he or she chooses to his mana pool. So it's. I can use it on myself, obviously, but uh, it's really good for two-headed giant or if you got allies. You need mm -hmm. it? Um, I'll definitely take it, yeah. All right, I'm going to choose Bobby. And you get to add whatever color. Red. Or it'll be a purple. Um, 
Pia and Kieran Nalar. So when they enter the battlefield, I get two colorless thopters. Nice. Boop. Boop. It's uh, Mama and Papa Chandra. All right. I'm done. Um, well, yeah, I guess we got to go to... I play in question authority on Kytheon's regulars. Enchant creature enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted creature has protection from creatures. Good. All right, all right. Oh, draw. I will equip. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Swing four through four. Okay. And he is now renowned. Second main. Six. I'll play a sensei's top. Nice. And I will pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Or, well, I'll pass the turn. You guys good? Yep. yep. Done. Okay. I'm going to top just to save time. Okay. You would. Well, just you. Okay. Um, choose your demise. When you set the scheme in motion, look at the top four cards of your library and separate them into a face down pile and a face up pile. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Put the, <laughs> put the cards. In the pile into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library, and then the order. That's so, nuts. So what's the top yeah, four? that's really good. So this is this is a good mind game one because it's like, yeah. does he put down? Does he show us the better cards so we pick them, or does he pick the better cards and put them face down? Face down. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Or does he try to goad us with the best card on top? Yeah. Who knows? And then put two good ones underneath. Hmm. It's got a lot of ways that we can do this, and you're picking me. I feel like you always make the most interesting choices. Draw cards equal a number of cards in your hand, then discard a card for each draw in this way with basic land cycling one. Six. Okay. Whenever you scry or discard another card, scry one. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, scry one. Hmm. You can have these two. On bottom, you do not reveal. Hopefully, I made the right good. choice, guys. We'll have to know at the end of the, the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually pretty even, so I mean, there really was no right, right or wrong. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> this will go on the bottom. There we go. Um, then this will be a land I play for turn. And I think. Okay, first I might as well activate Nissa. I'm going to zero Nissa. <laughs> that's no creature, cool. no land. That's a pretty cool card, though. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, here's where I need to make some choices again. Five Finless. I'm going to play an Ice Hall Regent. Uh, no, target that. Okay. Protection, Protection from, creatures. from creatures. Oh, I can't do that. Shoot! That doesn't help me then. <laughs> I guess I target. You help? You're gonna kidnap my parents? Well, I'm just gonna tap them, and then they can't untap. Would that help you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna tap your P and Kieran because there's nothing else I can really do. Um. Tap. Yep. Just tapped. And then I might as well try and get rid of the Thopter. Frozen and ice. I'll swing it, Kylie. <laughs> Sweet. And I will pass turn. I'm gonna deal damage to you, Steve. Okay. From staff and then 45. Oh, tap. Draw. Play a winding canyons. Play an island. I'm gonna go. Oh, I draw two. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna go five. I need to do that in a smart way. I guess I can't do both. Yeah. Um, it's five. Play Gideon Jura. I'm gonna minus two. I'm gonna destroy Slumgar. Yes, you are. I didn't even a think man. about that for a second. I thought Slumgar was my commander too. <laughs> I'll play Gorgon Blast Miner. Do you need any more money? So, um, not this turn. Okay. Uh, he is pay three and then tap him and destroy target non-basic land. It's also got more. All right, I am going to. I'm gonna zero Nissa. Right, poor kid. Um, I have combat. 
if you guys don't. don't. Go ahead and go to combat. I'm going to do second knee. I'm going to swing for you at five. Okay. 40. Wow, it's like we just started the commander game. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Steams. I need you to help me out here. <laughs> I'm going to hard cast a mold drifter. That's pretty good. And then... I think that's that's, uh, that's it for me, gents. Yeah, I'm yep, done. All right. That's all the bananas? All the bananas. Every mm -hmm. banana that there ever is, was, or will be. Oh, skin. Okay. Well, I'm going... <laughs> The, it's the horror one that we all like so much. That we can sacrifice creatures and you don't get it? Yeah. Okay. You can't do that. What do I want to do here? There's a lot going on. Salisbury sauce. Yes, indeed. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. <laughs> they sure does. And okay. a god pharaoh's still a god pharaoh. <laughs> That's narrowly a god pharaoh. <laughs> I'm going to tap seven. I'm going to make sure I can actually get through this. <laughs> That's a good idea. Cool, I made him. That's counterspell worthy. That's counterspell. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Who's your target? You. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am gonna go to my end step and get a two two horror. Also gonna do one damage to you at your end step. Thirty nine. I'm gonna top end of turn. Draw two. Play two land for the turn. Exploration. Married landscape for mm -hmm. my turn. Mm -hmm. Anybody need mana? You're still struggling over there, man. You need anything? Yeah, but let me let me do this. All right. Give me one. Are you okay. Give you one? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Bobby? Mm -hmm. Alright. You get to have a mana of any color. I'm gonna put just use for colorless. Gauntlet of power naming red. Okay. All right. Now wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, it is for, that's the other one. So right. it's the six cost one that doesn't ult Just only for, for you. you. Yeah. Alright, good, good. Mm -hmm. um, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's something. So. I'm going to okay. pump up Gideon. Six. During that tar target player's next turn, creatures that player controls attack, if possible. Have to attack Gideon? Yeah. Yes. Or if they attack, or how is that? They right? they must attack. Oh, okay. If they're able. So I'm gonna suspend Detrivor for two. And each time I remove a counter, I get to destroy a non basic land. Oh. Hmm. Alright, alright. Boys, I am done. I'm gonna go to combat. Oh okay. Five. This feels so much better than when we were yeah. doing the pre-con. No, uh, like, <laughs> like you know what that reminded me of, Steve? Our last uh, two pre-releases playing two at a giant. Yeah, really. It's just like, <laughs> oh, well, we almost climbed out of that. We could play cards. I'm All right, I'm done. I'm Don't done. Play. Come on, schemes. You need to really start working for me here. Have your three-three, Steve. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, spells I cast cost one colorless less. You gain your opponent's end step. If they cast four more spells, abandon the scheme. All right, that'll be easy. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start trying to kill some things. So this cost costs one colorless less, so that's good. So I'm gonna go to attempt to cast an unlicensed disintegration. Okay. Destroy target creature if you control an artifact. I am going to three damage or try and control. destroy Typhion. His irregulars? Yeah. His irregulars? Yeah. I have nothing. I yeah, no. Okay. I don't have an artifact, so. He's don't. done some damage. Yeah, he did. <laughs> you fools, you fell for my trap. <laughs> Activated my oh, trap card. I way overpaid for that, too. Um, I'm going to tap a different land. 
Mana burn, mana burn. Mana burn. That makes a lot more sense now. Because that taps for two. That's crazy. Oh, dang it, it does. Didn't think about that. Yeah, I know. I gotta... There's a whole gig. There's a whole gig. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta feel it, man. It's, it's, the heart of the it's, it's in the heart. Yeah, it's in the heart, heart of the cards. I like it. Okay. Um, unfortunately, with that, I think I have to pass the turn. I will get it. I you have going... to attack Gideon with some of your creatures. Oh, you're right. With, with all, both of them, them, right? Yeah, if they can. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get that ready for my end step. Yeah. Um, yeah. Woo. I'm gonna prevent damage from the regent and take three. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm going to decide to block the horror. Okay. Keep response. I'm expecting to get a counterspell here, gentlemen. It's okay. Eight. Going to court of calling for eight in response to block. I It's probably overpaying for whatever I'm going to grab, but... Can you get a permanent that removes a scheme? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can get rid of both of these, oh, actually. Yeah. We can. Yeah. Do we want to? Well, uh, I have nothing to sack. You guys could sack the Mold Drifter and the Token. The Thopter to get rid of the My Forces are Innumerable. Well, the Mold Drifter is about to die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because this is an Maybe. end step, right? Maybe it's going to die. Beginning of your opponent's end step, yeah. So it would definitely die before then. Well, I can maybe get something to save it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an Arcanist the Omnipotent. That's right. Yep. That's a card. Alright. And I will. Any what cuts? You're good. Nope. Well, for me at least. Okay. What does it feel like? playing the arch enemy <laughs> in this game. It's a little uh, more daunting. Is it like cuz you guys are actually playing with cards that are good. Yeah. <laughs> Is it tough to like face your friends like and they're like literally just like, we're trying to wail on you. Yeah. We're just okay. like I, I beat the crap out of you guys two games. That's true. Right? That's true. <laughs> I feel like this is my comeuppance right now. So. <laughs> Alright, so uh, blockers have been declared. Can we no damage. Zoom? That went through. End step. Yep. Get, a, Get a dude. Yep. Alright, our turn. Yep. Uh, end of turn, deal the damage to you. Uh, upkeep. Ugh. I'm going to destroy your command tower. The only thing that's annoying is I have to keep keeping track of kind of single <laughs> one, <laughs> one damage. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to tap it for a blue mana and cycle a Curio Mysteries. Okay. Play a land for turn. Hmm. Hmm. I oh I I did go up to. I'm good. I think I'm gonna not do anything for the rest of my turn. Hmm. You need mana, bro? I do need I think one mana. Boom! Perfect. It is all yours. Perfect. I'll play uh in the water. And I'll get a thopter. Hey, there's some tokens. Alright. Yep, they're coming on back. Um, other than that, I think I'm good. I still need to activate Nissa, so I'm actually going to plus two Nissa. I'm also. Um, we could activate Gideon here to swing through. Wouldn't be a bad plan. And he'd block, but he'd be without a guy. Mm -hmm. Could also make him attack and tap out again. Uh, we don't have anything to really swing through for that yet, so... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm, I'm good with whatever. I'm plus to him. Okay. okay. It's kind of boring. <laughs> I've never played him in standard back in the day. And this, I mean, he's I know really, he's really good, actually. He's yeah. great in standard, yeah, yeah. But he's great in 1v1 situations. Oh, no, I believe it. Like so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm good. It's done. I'm good. I'm yeah. Two. Uh, end of turn. Here we go. Two, three, four. I'm going to cast an Ancient Excavation. You paid one too many for that. 
Oh, it costs cheaper. Yeah, one cheaper. This is three mana, so it's costs four. That pass for double. Oh, you're right. Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm helping floating, you out, man. I'm floating a red. All right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand, and then what? Which is six, and then I can discard um, six cards. Well, I discard six cards. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. What copy is this? Dual casting. Oh, hold on. It's uh, equal in my hand. This is at the end of turn, right? Yep. Steve, could I see the card? Yeah. Thank you. I am going to respond. Okay. Draw three cards. Yep. Oh, that guy just came out. No, he didn't. He came out at the... I uh, quarter calling him into play. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right. You're right. Okay, that's fine. Something good, Kyler. <laughs> I've got so many good things. I'm happy where I'm at right now. I think I'm, I'm happy I played, I put this in the deck because I even commented, I'm like, this could save somebody. It yeah, saved me. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. And if, like, the best play would have been, yeah, and like you said, the, that thing, and really, you've convinced me on that card. Like, I don't know I if I'd ever run card. it, but that, that's, a, that's a solid card. It's, even if you're playing in a free for all. Well, it works for you. Yeah. It works for you. And then if you need to help somebody else for something, I mean it's it's like a not quite as good chromatic lantern. Yeah. But it has a different aspect. So, yeah, it's a, sorry. It's a are we you're are paying we a lot for something? Oh, yeah, no. Right. Right. Yeah, I that was our discarded. end of turn. So. Yeah. Okay. Which is all. Okay. No one will hear your cries. When you set the scheme in motion, each opponent chooses a creature he or she controls and sacrifices the rest. Sweet. All right, that's unfortunate for Bob. Do you kill your mother or your mother and your father? <laughs> it's a boatload of bad. I choose one creature and, and yeah, sacrifice, sacrifice the rest. The rest. I'm going to choose the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for getting rid of the scheme. And then I got to... <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. I want to focus. Wait, have we cast more than four spells on our turn? I did not cast one last turn. I, I only did one, so. Thank you. Island. Eastland. 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 This land is Island. This land is your land. From California to the desert islands, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Sweet land destruction. <laughs> I know. Right? I mean, not really. It's awful, but I'm happy we're doing it now. Still, I still don't feel bad because the first two games were that bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? They were that bad. Mm -hmm. So now I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about like holding him down and kicking and punching him. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steve and I talked in my deck, or maybe I forget whose deck tech. No, we were talking about the product opening. We we had mentioned that it kind of feels like. So I have to attack with these guys, right? Yes. I have to attack get in. Yeah. Yeah, we'll attack get in then. Yeah. Uh, I will winding canyons the or not winding canyons. Corehaven the. That guy. So it takes six and bounded two. Oh, so that's a yeah. And uh, but this feels like the Hydra deck and the Minotaur deck from. The Theros block pre-releases and stuff. Yeah. I do not remember that. Go to my end step. They were kind of just like heavy duty, like challenge decks. So you had to like try to kill the Hydras. Damage thirty two. Every turn they would get like if you killed the Hydra. It would, oh, end of turn. I'm sorry. I'm going to uh, mirrored landscape. Uh, and I'm probably gonna top as well. You know, if you killed a Hydra creature and there were like some bad ones and then some unique ones. Yeah. Um, a two high, you would draw two cards and try to put more hydras into play. <laughs> okay. And there was a minotaur deck. Crazy. It was a lot of fun though, but it seemed, it was doable. And like, but even those, it's just like get a three three. Like that's yeah. kind of what the hydra deck did. But it was just like, oh my, these are way tougher, especially versus what we were the other two out decks. With. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like if they had just a little bit more power, it'd be yeah. a little bit more even. But the, I think those are upgradable to make a decent deck for everybody in the arch enemy like. 
Yeah, I mean, it's field. it's there's a couple good cards in there. Yeah. You know, if you make it a good 60-card deck, I think, yeah, definitely. Anybody care to cut? Nope. No. Okay. All right. Thank you. Done. I'll top really quick. Tippity top. Not good. Okay. Everybody ready? Yep. Yep. Two lands for the turn. I already drew. I apologize. I draw. Two lands for the turn. Way to go, Kylie. Way to cheat. Oh, no. Cheat. Sure's cheater. Okay. Upkeep. I'm going to destroy... Hmm. Can you? And how many non-basics are in the graveyard? All graveyards are his. Um, in opponents. Okay, so, so just his. Non-basic lands. Yep. One, two, three, four. Can I go mana, Charlie? What? Six, seven. You may certainly. Seven. But you're doing okay on mana, right? I'm so doing he's great. a seven, seven right okay. now. Okay. I'm gonna play a perm medallion. White spells cost one less for me. Cool. Um, unless Bobby, unless you needed that mana, because hmm. you're doing better than he is. But I, I think we're good. So he said no, so we're good. I'm gonna play okay. okay. Archangel, Archangel of Thune. Nice. Flying life link whenever I gain a life with a one-one counter. On each creature you control. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, is this locking down anything right now? No, no. Pia and Karen died a long time ago. I'm going to put a scavenging ooze into play. Yikes. Yikes. And then... Two... Four? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and sky trap claim. I'm going to... Uh, Plus zero and make Gideon a creature. I'm just gonna do it. I play Gauntlet Power Red. Nice. In the game. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. Anybody? Oh. Um, suspended creatures do not have. They still have summoning signals. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what they I thought. Because it's got to be yeah. Mm -hmm. Doing an upkeep. Pretty good. Yep. 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 Swing here. You just have food killing. That's right. Yeah. Swing it. Was you. that four spell spells? One. One. That is cast. It is cast. Yeah. So two. So three. three. This one is done. Yeah. Just kind of nice. Keep track of that. Okay. Got six coming at you, Steve. <sighs> I think I. And uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. done. End of turn. <laughs> now that mountain of his taps are three. <laughs> you know what? I never changed the string title. Oh. <laughs> Still says uh, Wednesday Night Magic. Really? Oh man. Oops. Oh, Primo. Well. That's yeah. why no one's watching. That's why no one's watching. Yeah, they all wanted Commander. <laughs> yep, that is probably it. Uh, yeah. I'm going to attempt to cast a Salumgar's command. I'm going to read this real quick. Target non counter target non creature spell. Turn target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets negative three, negative three, or destroy target planeswalker, and you can choose two of them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, man. Which one to destroy? I think I'll destroy that one. Yeah. Surprise. And I think I'll get that last turn this turn. You don't like him, do you? No, I don't. I need, I need more of my lands destroyed right now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad for me. Okay, on tap. Choop, 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 choop. Choop. Choop, choop, a doop. Choop, a doop. Choop, a doop, a doop, a doop. When you set the scheme in motion, gain control of target creature and opponent controls and untap it. <laughs> well, I think I'll take that one. I'm going to go ahead and tap it in response to draw three. Yep, seems good. Uh, and then, hmm, mm. momentous fall it. Ooh, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna let's see here. Draw to its power and gain life to its toughness. So I'm at 44. And I'm gonna draw three cards. Sounds good. All right. All right. This goes. Like I got a removal spell for nothing. That was kind of cool, actually. I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'm gonna play this. Drawn catacombs. Three. Wow. The power. 
You got the skill, you got the power. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> Something like that. An attempt to play a coral primordial. Oh no. Disallow. Oh no. Cast a sepulchral he won. and I disallowed it. Ooh, he won the whole it. game. How did this happen? I know it happened real quick. <laughs> I will go to my end step and get another one of these guys. At your end step, I'm going to cast a mystical tutor. Oh. Okay. Sorry, what phase just happened? I went to my end step. Because right. I don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. Mystical Tutor's gonna get me a tooth and nail to the top of my library. Oh my top. God. Spin it. Yikes. Oh my god. <laughs> Just kill me now, Kylie. Cuts. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put on top? Tooth and tooth nail. Tooth and nail. No Ooh, cuts? Yikes. Right. On top. Untap. Well, playing against real Draw decks, Michael Bolas uh, isn't faring so hot. <laughs> it is a 3v1, so. I wonder if you could even it out if you drew like two a turn. I don't know. Okay. The problem is, like, Bobby's actually Six really mana. holding me back right now. Oh, like, yeah. destroying my lands. Um, uh, so I've got two mana floating. I can only do, like, one thing a turn, and Kylie's got answers for everything that I'm doing. So it's just like, okay, well. I'll pick Chandra up to get two more mana. So I'm at Weird. Four. It felt like we could only do one thing a turn, and you had answers for everything when we were playing the other way. That is true. We should go back to the other game. <laughs> Play a light wielder paladin first strike. When it redeals damage to a player, you may exile black or red permanent they control. All right, let's see here. Sixteen. Got sixteen mana to work with. Jeez. Think you can cast a tooth in there. In torn. It's crazy. That's it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gonna be a tooth and nail and twine. Okay. <laughs> so with my four mana floating, I'm gonna play Stranglehold. So you can't search your library, you can't take extra turns. And then I'm gonna play another shot. Kylie, like those two do not kill me. Come on, play. I I can't kill you. I don't play like that. You know that. Ugh, come on, just finish me. <laughs> uh, so fairy artisans and Talran go into my hand. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'll plus zero, Gideon. You would. I gotta pass so you. Regent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you pay two extra to do that? I will certainly do that. Okay. Yep, that's a good idea. I'm going to put a Kozilek Butcher of Truth onto the battlefield. Gooey! <laughs> Jeez. And I'm going to put a... I'm happy he doesn't get to cast for at least. Tolerant onto the battlefield. Tolerant. And then... Two more. Okay, let's cut. You're good. For a Coiling Oracle. So... A line of anticipation goes into my hand. That happened. And then I've got to discard. I'm going to go ahead and oh. discard this Wood Elves at this point in the game. Over here. Uh, I don't have haste or anything, so. Uh, I have combat here. Okay. I have combat here. Six, Gideon. Three, Flyer. Seven with the Detrivor. Oh, so there's more basics in your graveyard. Okay. Well, I. Shoot. I'll block. The Detrivor. I'll take nine. I really need to. Okay, I'll gain three. I'll add a counter to each of my creatures. Thank you. And then second main, cast the Fairy Artisans. That's pretty good. And I am done. I am done. I'm done. All right. Okay. Let's see what happens here. So a counter could go on Gideon but it will now fall off or no permanent they can keep they can stay counters can stay on non-legal targets right what are you talking about he loses creature at the end of my turn 
but he gets but a plus one. Well, it's a different. It's not a loyalty. Challenge. Right, I know it's not a loyalty. I, I mean, I, I. It'll fall off because it's not a creature. I thought it could remain because can't you animate lands and keep counters on them, even though they lose? Oh, uh, that's a fair point. Yeah, we'll look it up. Okay. okay. I don't think uh, damage will matter, but no evil. When you set the scheme in motion until your next turn, up to one target opponent can't attack with creatures. <laughs> Up to one. Oh yeah, this is that one. Yeah. Um, I wonder who can't attack with creatures. You <laughs> actually can't cast non-creature spells. I think that's the safer bet. Right Until now. end of turn. Until my the end of my next turn, I think. Until the end of your next. Oh wait, until your next turn. Uh, so that doesn't really help me. Okay, you can't attack with creatures. Cozy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eric can't attack with or can't cast non-creature spells. And it, then, it would help you. Yeah, that's okay. I got it. Okay. And then Bobby can't cast creature spells. So non creature spells, non creature wait, you have way more non creature spells. Yeah, that's non creature spells, idea. creature spells can't attack. Yeah, All there right. we go. All right. We figured this out, boys. <laughs> Get there. Okay. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a real question. Damnation. That's not a bad play at this point. That would be well, a good if play. If I had it, that would yeah. be great. <laughs> Not to damnation. <laughs> <laughs> Made like a in Garrick's wake right now. That would be awesome. That would be legit. Oh man. I just have to do that. Somebody take control of Kozilek at the end of his turn so that they can attack. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> do you really still have only three land? Dude, that's insane. That I should have kept my second hand because I would have had four. Yeah. And there was a goblin in that hand. But that's magic. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you never look, Bobby. <laughs> you I like to look because yeah. then it makes me feel better about when I gamble. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be there. And then yeah. normally it is. Yeah. <clears throat> YouTubers comment if you look, if you've mulliganed or not. I never look. <laughs> yeah, never look. Not even at the top card. It's Let like, us no. know. Because it could guys, be perfect. I gotta look at my commander. Okay. Because I can't read that thing. In the... Let me see. He's I mean, so we... good. Oh yeah, really good. But like exile I things. How his and... first ability actually goes. Unfortunately, the proxy that we have is not. Uh... Target opponent exiles cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exiles a non-land card. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost for plus two. Okay, that's great. <laughs> so look it up. That's fair. I just want to have it available on my phone. That way, I can just look at it. Ease of access. To... Cause I like when I first looked at it, I thought it was gonna work, but then like, I don't know. I just want to make sure I'm clear on everything before I do something, you know. Kind yeah. Of thing. And this will get me clear. So da 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 da. -da. Yeah, exile each non-land permanent your opponent's control. So I need that now. Okay. Yeah, you do. I can find that in my brain. So I had two Pia's out, so they both birthed a, Sh a Chandra. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Four, five, six. We've all played our, our Planeswalkers. Seven. Yeah. Which is more than we can say for the last freaking game. I know, I played. I'm going to play Nicol Bolas, unless Callie has him. I, I do have a response. Okay. You really have Forza Will in here? Exile? It's coming to Oh, God. That's <laughs> 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 even better. Cool. I just, I just want to shoot now. <laughs> no, we we had to face. We'll, we'll try and finish you out though. <laughs> I'm, well, I can't uh, attack, but I can definitely nickel balls on my turn. Yep. Uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, uh, end of turn, deal a damage to you, Steve. Poor Steve. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, draw two. That's what I needed. Should have topped Eric. Come on, you're good at this game. Play a land for the turn. Gonna animate Gideon. I'm gonna go ahead and plus two bolas. Can I have a mana so I don't have to tap my lands? Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna Top. exile so cards until I hit a non-creature. Yeah, and I or cast non-land. Non-land, and I cast it without paying its mana cost. Look at it. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna tick up for two manas. My nine there. I'm gonna have five total. And then I'm gonna play, yeah, Mizzix's Mastery on Browbeak. So I'll draw three. Or wait, wait. Yeah. All wrong, all wrong. I can't play non-creature spells. So 
Oh yeah, you can. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but I'm gonna ping you for one first. Ooh, I got a uh, little Drake also for casting the uh, stay at marker. Yeah. Um. Gerstern. Pay one for a relic of progenitus. Jeez, what a gummy board state. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's got your. Once command. again, I thought I was going to do something and I didn't. Yeah, dude. Has it been bad draws, you think, or just no? I just repression? haven't been able to do anything. Kylie took off with mana like really early, and yeah. has had responses to everything I've had. Yeah. And then Bobby's been blowing up all my lands, so yeah. I don't have anything there. And you've been attacking me. Somebody should have just milled him too to be like the one, two, three. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Nissa for five, and then I'm gonna plus her two. I kind of wish Kylie could attack this turn. <laughs> <laughs> so That's not be, very nickel bullets. We could just be done with this. Beat fest. Yep. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it turns out. Uh, Go ahead. Three v one actual EDH is kind of. I'm gonna swing that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna double the life. Put you at eighty. Yeah, just kill me. Four yeah. five. <laughs> uh, so four nine. That is another six. So fifteen. Plus seven. Yeah, I'm dead. Yay! Oh, I died. Oh, <laughs> oh, you got no. blockers. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, what no. if you draw damnation, Steve? I, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'll deal an extra one to you. <laughs> let's, let's reveal the top card. I think Kylie could kill you with staff. So yeah, even it's a sire of stagnation. Yeah. Ooh, yes. yeah. Steve might have been good, though. Okay, so. Uh, when you say I was look at the top six card, no. That wouldn't have been that great. I would have revealed. All right. <laughs> let's, Here's your no notion thief back. Thank let's you. talk really quick. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, I think. I was happy that the Gauntlet worked. I think what what worked about your guys' deck? I mean, I definitely slowed him down a little bit and got him back, but yeah. I don't know how much with that freaking uh, like low mana. Like it wasn't until your Gauntlet came in. Like really, the three v one is super powerful. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Yeah. I don't know. We, it's tough to handle. That's we can sure. help each other, and then Kylie had a really like explosive, explosive start, start yeah. which the exploration was really good. And and I still think that getting I mean this Nissa as a planeswalker, nah y'all should have let me do the the mono green three. Yeah, like there are some double ups in here though. Like there's got to be because there's no way. Yeah, you got a lot of uh, what seemed like the same cards at the very start. Yep. Well, and those three first schemes against you guys were just like, oh, this is great. Yeah, it's useless, but at the same time, like. Think about what the deck was made for, and what it was what it was made for completely shut us down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really quick, let's talk about that, just so our viewers know. I know it's the end of the video. Kylie started out with a mono green commander, his in the Nissa, and uh, well, not that one. Yeah. yeah. And then we we allowed him to change because is either break the commander rules and run the blue cards in the deck that came in the pre-constructed product or ignore all the blue cards and run with a mono green commander. So that was one change that was good and I think, yeah, that, that miss is insane, especially as a planeswalker. Oh, yeah. planeswalker. Or as yeah. a, I'm sorry, as a commander. As a commander. Yeah. Like, like so it, early. it's a good planeswalker card or it's a good like card just to throw in, I think. Yeah. I think that uh, it's not a planeswalker that's probably going to draw a whole lot of attention because just one. I, I don't think people see Scry 2 as... I mean, they're not going to really be worried about that. Thank you. Yeah, but you can keep the sleep if you need. As a as a general, being able to get it out, especially if you get like a soul ring or an exploration or something, being able to get it out turn two or oh, yeah. three, and then all of a sudden that try to exploration man. Yeah, that any gas for you and that early that was definitely spelling the end for Steve. Yeah, and the fact that uh, imagine if like I would have had mana and had some gas to destroy some of the lands and then yeah. I think Eric played everything perfectly as well. Yeah, forcing the attacks onto Gideon was really helpful. Yep. And I, I think I dealt damage like the one guy got in there three times for fifteen. Yeah. And Gideon got in there twice for twelve. Like that was that's <laughs> huge, you know. <laughs> yeah, watch well, your uh, <laughs> and I think part of the problem here, Eric. Well, yeah, I got uh, early no. damage. In, which <laughs> you got early damage. Nice. I got like nine on him at the f very start, and then the, the staff came out. It was like, we got ten in. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's well, at 50. Here's the other issue that I see with the 
with the arch enemy deck itself. And there's a second arch enemy deck, isn't there? There's a, an older one. There's, there's more than two. Think, there's quite a few actually. I think they came out separately in okay. waves, kind of. For the I, previous they're, they're nothing like this. I'd so. almost like to play well, another game of this, but double the life. So I he's think at he 80. Needs to be at 80 at least. Yeah. 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 And I think, I wonder how two schemes would do because even extra life at that point just keeps them alive a little longer. Mm -hmm. Like, well, and here's here's what I was thinking. A lot of these arch enemy cards are really focused on creatures. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you're running, like for me, a deck that doesn't necessarily rely or care about creatures... Oh, it's the deck mm -hmm. Um <laughs> It doesn't really affect us very much. You know no. what I mean? Yeah, and no. especially since... I, I had a point and I totally lost it. Oh, especially since we were using Planeswalkers as our generals instead of creatures. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like That, that really hinders the arch enemy. Class. It gives you a play that isn't just that mess over a creature your opponent's control something. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah. So I think that really hurt also. <laughs> Have you guys ever played the kind of, it's like a zombie variant where it's just like a 100, 200 cards yeah. that are zombie tokens and then like any cool black spell you want. So like destruction and what you do is you you flip cards until you get like zombies go into play and then you get a non-zombie spell and cast it for free and then the opponents mm. like fight that off. Yeah. Like I wonder if you know, I think the only way out of that sometimes is like massive board wipes because you're just trying to get, and I think you shuffle that back in when yeah. you go through it. Mm. Oh, like obviously that's a little different, but like, how how many board wipes did you have in there, Steve? Well, I have four. Okay. And I didn't see a single one. Yeah, and so. I mean, we got to what? Probably at least turn 12, 14, something like that. Yeah, maybe, oh, maybe yeah. not four. Maybe I have three. Okay. Because like I have one was. creature. Then I have. And you had an aether eyes and stuff. Oh, I guess if you count those, then I have like five. Because okay. I have Aether Eyes, Aether Spouts. Which yeah. I had Aether Eyes in my hand there for a long time, but the problem is is that even if I use it, like it's a Gideon that's swinging at me. So yeah. it's just like, oh, he gets to replay it. Yeah, we were like, doing yeah. small little, like little for a hits. fair amount of it, we were just doing small hits that's not worth an Aether Eyes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And then that you could have done the last one. Real quick. You could have done the last one to live. But, but then next round, you've got a Kozilek coming at you, you know? At that like, point, oh, yeah. I was just like, well, this as is about As soon as Cozy to... hit the board, it's just yeah, like... Yeah. Four. <sighs> yeah. Well, so, and, like, I didn't see any of my control effects. Well, I did, but Kylie countered most of them. But, like... Exactly. If I would have been able to maybe, like, do an insurrection, which is not in the deck mm -hmm. anymore, because I felt like that was too mean. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, maybe it was... not. I wonder if you if you went, like, no holds barred, yeah, how bad that's it what would you be again. Do. Yeah, well, maybe. that's what you did. I think that's what you did. Like you said, Kylie plays a really mean Ravinia deck, and I saw a lot of that kind of churning, and you know, mm -hmm. um, and that that is not that is not something fun to fight through. Do you think? Like I felt my deck per did pretty well. Mm -hmm. I, I went with the theme. I was happy with the guys I played. Yeah. Um. I I'm impressed with Gideon Jura. I never, like I said, I never played with him before. I was happy. Just mm -hmm. keeping him as my commander. What do you think, Bobby? I really like that I had the family reunion and yeah, like that's awesome. actually yeah, got yeah. to play cards. I'm just yeah. happy I got to play cards on three lands for most of the game. <laughs> yeah. The, the, whole, like, the last like turn of the game. That the family reunion. What about you, Kylie? At the I, end of I'm gonna be honest. I feel like, especially having the blue greenness as a commander, is just that's just overpowered. Yeah, uh -huh. it's too good. You said at the end of your deck tech, you hope to hold Nicol Bolas's arms back and let everybody kind of get in there. Get it. That's what was happening. Yeah, that's, that's exactly really. What I mean, happened, those those yeah. two giant counter spells oh. were just like, oh, mm -hmm. thank God. Well, that was like, well, I, I think I got countered like five times from Kylie. Yeah, yeah. I had. I think I only countered you. Th uh, it was at three? least four. And the the commandeer for the, the but the commandeer for the bullets, man. <laughs> that was well, so was good. Yeah. That was the nail. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I'm out. I'm tapping out, boy. I'm surprised you didn't get up from your seat. <laughs> just the table. Well, in a real game, at that point, I would have scooped. I would have yeah. been like, okay, <laughs> that was fun. I'm, I'm out. Peace. Yeah, I think I think if Steve would have gone no holds barred, and I honestly think that I don't know if life total is the right thing. I think that. Well, I mean, we figured... I think I'm, I think maybe like two arch enemy cards a turn. I wonder if some of the other arch enemy because we have a few. They're not a full there's set. Not just the. But I, I wonder if there's anything that's just like your opponents can't do this this turn, and it's just yeah. like why is this a card? Like mm -hmm. yeah. you know, just totally well, mess I mean, up the yeah, whole team. I think like we were talking about, a lot of these schemes are definitely like here's a three three. 
Yeah. You know, and EDH, yeah. that doesn't really scale the same no. way. No. Like, when we were playing the regular decks, it's just like, oh god, that's a 3-3. Three, three. I'm at 20 life. Oh no. The biggest also, creature I have is a 2-3. Yeah, also, like, the decks were so oh, neutered. They were so bad. That it was yeah. like, a 3-3 three, is like, how am I gonna, what? What am I and gonna kill this with? Any flying <laughs> creature that he got was just like, we're all yeah. just doomed. One vampire Nighthawk is just like, okay, I can't. I just I can't. <laughs> and then a second one comes down, and you start to cry. Yeah. Like, you know what the problem is? is I took out that uh, bone picker. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Not my my final list. What do you guys? So, I know we we earlier did a little bit of a box opening. Mm -hmm. It's sixty bucks. If you had a play group, what do you think? I think one. You definitely need to pass around the nickel for us. Yeah. yeah. You need to pass mm. that around so that, I mean... Everyone gets a chance. Well, I can tell you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to keep it EDH-focused. Okay. I'm going to build up the other three decks and then build up the Nickel Bowls deck and keep it kind of as a board game, but I'm going to try and... That's what I was thinking. Balance board it out game. a little bit. It really is. It, it's like a board game yeah. because, like, it's so oppressive and, like, it you like when I was playing those games, I felt like I wanted to beat you. It was like, a, yeah, like yeah. this thing. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm going to get you, you know? Not to bring another game into it, but it kind of made me think of the DC deck builder where you're all against the oh yeah where you're against the, the villains. Uh, villains. It's yeah. not mm -hmm. a bad comparison, really. No, I think you know, right. except for the balance on this is not there. Right. But I think if you take you it, change it, and you, I, you know, I seriously think they just were like, you know what, this might be foreshadowing. I think Nicol Bolas yeah. is gonna rule, like just run over these guys. So well, oh, yeah. and they said oh, they yeah. were not gonna do as much with the Gatewatch the coming up. Yeah. So maybe in our devastation, they. Decimate the gate watch. Now I'm not saying maybe I'm anyone sure dies. Gonna die. I think I, I'm not saying that somebody's happens. gonna it die, be. and there's not gonna be a gate watch anymore. Prediction. You oh, heard it here first. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna watch, go? But... Who's gonna go? Uh, you they know, can't like... do Jace. He's no, too iconic. He's not present, isn't he? I he's he not around right now. He's not on Amaket. No, he's not. He stayed at. He stayed. No, he's on Amaket. We'll check. Comment in the video. In the last lore, he was helping Liliana fight her demon. Mm. So what are I honestly think it's gonna be Nissa. Nissa, yeah, you know, I've heard some people say she's kind of just like a boring, like green elf nature lady, and she's like a last plane stuck on an artificer planet. Like, yeah, you know, uh, I just would like to see the return of Garrick. Dude, yeah, but well, they I gotta think fix his. Gonna come back as a, something like they that. gotta Yeah, but he's also not gonna come back here. I think he comes back in Ixalan. Or something else. I don't even think that. Right? In the, with, yeah, with dinosaurs? Time. Are you kidding me? Garrick riding a, like, a T Rex? <laughs> that seems awesome. Except for now he's black green. Oh, oh my color god. Of the he might. If by the time we see him again, he might be straight black. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. So, yeah. sorry, to get back on track. Yeah, yeah. For 60 bucks, I think. What do you think? I think yeah, even adding like 50 cent well, rares to this would get you where well, you need to be. If you put a couple of board wipes in each deck, mm -hmm. like put a pyroclasm in one, and just like give them those like guns to really like be like, okay, we have a safety net. We well, have something to in keep our it deck. 60 card, yeah. And yeah. as far as value, it's there. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. It's worth the price. Because yeah. you have a Sun Titan, you have an Inferno Titan, you have. Oh, yeah. Fragtusk, Bolas, Fragtusk, too. The Unfortunately, Walkers. Green doesn't have a Titan. Mm. Yeah, not for <laughs> prime time. Too good. Um, yeah, yeah. real good. It's I, I think for, for the bowls. arch enemy cards themselves, mm -hmm. that's a good I think point. it's worth sixty bucks just because that's gonna open up a different format for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can well, almost play. This will be anything. something exactly. Maybe uh, we could try again someday. Yeah, I think I we would might like have to. to think about it. If I think if you make it like your your cube in a way, yeah, where it's set. And you know it's balanced because you've balanced it where sometimes the Oath will win and sometimes, or the Gatewatch will win and sometimes uh, Nicol Bolas will win. Yeah. I think that would be fair. I and I'd the, love to pick I that. think the twist is us making the Planeswalkers the Commanders. Yeah, yeah, that, oh. But, you know, I've wanted to do that forever because it's just like, well, it's a I, cool concept. I've played man. the Dorette forever, but let's try something else. Uh, yeah, let's try Kong. Uh, Nissa <laughs> Element, uh, or uh, well, Steward of Elements, OP. Which, which OP. reminds me for the stream, we are planning on doing a Planeswalker as Commander's Challenge, but we are going to do it completely random. Yeah. yeah. Like so, the walkers are random? Yeah, yeah. like we're, oh. we're going to randomly roll for the walker that we choose and we're going to build the deck. I'm out. hoping Eric gets, awesome. uh, you know, something crazy like. Uh, Tidbolt. Uh, yep. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, Can you unplug that over there, Bob? Yeah. If you guys are still here, thanks for watching. Uh, check out, like we said at the beginning of the video, there's uh, four deck packs, yeah, one for each of us in the morph section, so our beefed up EDH decks. There's the pitiful double game <laughs> out of the box uh, Gatewatch 02 against Nicol Bolas. 
Uh, check that out as well. If you like anything on YouTube, uh, always treat your your uh, creator as well. Hopefully, we into entertained you for a little bit. Give them a like. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, same as anybody else. Um, if you have any comments, if you guys try this, like, and you say 120 life works fine, 120 20 schemes per turn, <laughs> let us know because we there's some tweaking to do in the EDH realm, I think. But yeah, yeah. awesome. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah, thank thanks. you, Kylie. Thank it was you. it was nice that you guys got to redeem yourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have been super salty because I was I was starting to feel bad after the second one. I was just like, oh man. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. <laughs>